If you're wondering how the PlayStation 4 DualShock controller works with the PlayStation 5 console, stick around for this video right here. I'm gonna be testing out this controller right here, the DualShock PS4 controller. So this controller only works with PS4 games even on the PS5. Although it works with the PS5, you cannot use this controller to play any PS5 games on the PlayStation 5. That's not fun, that's not cool. I thought I would've been able to use this as a backup controller, but I guess we can't do that. But it can play PS4 games on the PlayStation 5. So if you break your PS5 controller, then you can't use this as a backup controller, but you can use it, you know, to play your PS4 games in the meantime, or if that's what you wanted to play at the time. So let's go ahead and test this controller right now. The first thing you want to do before you use the DualShock to play any PlayStation 4 games on the PS5 is connect it using a USB cable. So a simple connection is all you want. So right there, you notice that it's basically noticed uh, the PlayStation 5. So now all I gotta do is turn it on and and it'll read it, it'll read it, it'll read the, the DualShock 4. I've now got the DualShock 4 connected to the PlayStation 5 and I'm now operating the PlayStation 5 using the DualShock 4. So I'm going to try to play two different kind of games. I'll, I'll try to play a PS5 game to confirm that it doesn't work to so show you guys that it doesn't work with PS5 games. So let's try Astro's Playroom. So as you can see, top right corner, it says PS5 games can be played using, you know, the DualShock 4. So I'm gonna close this game and now I'm gonna try to play another PS5 game to see how it works as well. Okay, let's try NBA 2K21 right there. So I'm gonna click on that. You'll notice it's gonna give us the same exact message as the last one. So it's not going to work, but if you do, you know, try to play these games via remote play on the PS4, you can play PS5 games. So it's kind of weird. This controller only lets you play PS5 games on the PS4 when you're using uh, remote play. Otherwise, you cannot use it to play PS5 games. Not on the PlayStation 5 for sure, as you can see but you can use it on remote play. So I'm gonna close this game right now and then I'm gonna go open a PlayStation 4 game so you guys can see how, how this works with that as well. Okay, let's try NBA 2K20. This is a PS4 game right here. I'm gonna open that up and try to see how it works. Okay, here we go. So it's just like the PlayStation 4 because I play this game on the PlayStation 4 a lot and it's basically the same thing, you know, it operates the same. It's pretty much as smooth as it was on there, the, the DualShock 4. So it's not like it's laggy or it's, you know, not unresponsive. It works the same exact way as what I'm saying. I'm just going to play a random game to see how, you know, it handles in-game. So this handles exactly the same as it did on the PlayStation 4 as expected. So it's nothing crazy. It's exactly what we expected. Just don't expect any adaptive trigger functions or any haptic feedback, you know. Just expect it to act the same way it would on the PlayStation 4. So just the shock vibration, you know, just that kind of stuff is what you want to get, what you would get out of this, even on the PlayStation 5. So it doesn't matter that you're playing on the PlayStation 5. It doesn't, you're not going to get like extra, you know, benefits for playing on the PlayStation 5. I think this feature would have been better if, you know, you could use it to play PS5 games. But obviously we can't use it to play PS5 games. We can only use it to play PS4 games. I don't know why we can't use this to play PlayStation 5 games because that would have been a great reason to have this is what I'm saying. Basically because you would have been able to use, use this as a you know replacement controller. You know anytime you run out of you know, your, your controller for the PS5 breaks down because those things we don't know how long they're going to last. We've never used them before. The one issue that I've got with this entire feature is that it's not applicable to PlayStation 5 games. I don't know why it's applicable to PlayStation 5 games when you're playing on a PlayStation 4 console using remote play, but it's not applicable to PlayStation 5 games when you're playing directly off the PlayStation 5 console. So it's confusing to me, but if we could play PS5 games using this controller, then that would have been better because then we can use it as a backup controller for our broken controllers whenever they do break because we're all going to overplay that thing. We all know how this goes. And then we're going to run out of a few controllers or, you know, slam a few into the wall. Do what you got to do to get that rage out there. Some of these games are just stupid, man. Basically, that's how it works on the PlayStation 5, you know, playing PlayStation 4 games. So it's just like having a PlayStation 4 console. I might as well go bring that out and, you know, play my PS4 games on it at this point because this controller is not really doing anything different to me. It's just playing PlayStation 4 games on a different console. So nothing crazy about that. If you enjoy this video or found it helpful, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. If you enjoyed this video and want to see some more like it, then make sure to click on the video on the screen and I will catch you guys in my next video. It's Midas and I am out, y'all.